Well, over the past couple of months, the Sanford Center has been the topic of many conversations around Bemidji. Our Josh Peterson found that changes in the role of its advisory board may be made in the near future. Before the Sanford Center even opened its doors, there has always been a board of community members in place to bridge the gap between Event Center and the Bemidji City Council. While the community has grown, the Sanford Center's advisory board's original purpose remains the same. The advisory board serves in a capacity for the city to help review revenue, to help review operational concerns, uh, also the performance of the facility. It's not uncommon for community event centers to have a committee or board that is made up from people throughout its community. It's really a way for an event center to have assistance in some of its decision making. It serves as a sounding board both for the community and also for the executive director on types of bookings and acts. But change could be on the horizon for the Sanford Center's advisory board. Recent events with the event center's management company VenueWorks has opened discussions about what the role of an advisory board should be and what guidelines it should follow. Revolving is to define uh, success as well as the right members of, uh, of the board and we're still working on that. I think that's part of the conversation with the work group with the city is to make sure that the right people are on the board, mm -hmm. the right makeup of the, of the board. But no matter what, its key purpose will always be to promote the city and collect public feedback to help make sure every aspect of the event center is a successful one. In Bemidji, I'm Josh Peterson, Lakeland News. Recently, the Bemidji City Council developed a work group to look more in-depth at the Sanford Center's booking and promoting issues. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.